What's going on guys, it's ZZZ Joe B, back with another YouTube video. This is going to be a tip video for mutations. This is an armor guide, a weapon guide. Really just make the mutation easier for you, and if your whole group is following this guide, easier for your entire group. This is just a basic setup, just to set you up for success when you get into that mutation. So let's get right into it. First things first, we're going to go over weapons. You want to make sure you're using weapons that are strong against the enemy type. So this is my corrupted setup that I am showing you. You can apply this to your Genesis setup, your Lazarus setup, um, but also make sure you're making using the right weapons. Uh, so this is for corrupted dungeon. Uh, you want to have Bane. That is corrupted Bane. That is corrupted Bane on both weapons. Seriously, it's it's very powerful. And then if you look at my this spear I rolled yesterday, Corrupted Bane Rogue. That's the best combination you can have for a purple. And then if you can get a third perk, Keenly Empowered, would be pretty bis. But ultimately, yeah, you want to have good perks for DPS just to help make your life easier. Um, but yeah, for the weapons, thrust damage, very important for Corrupted Dungeons. Your bows, your spears, your muskets even, because they're high single target though, so you can use them on bosses. <laughs> your blunderbusses even, your rapiers. These are all great weapons for corrupted. And using the cor a weapon that's strong against that enemy, it's going to make your life easier. It's going to make your group's life a lot easier. Now let's look over the armor. Your armor needs to have corrupted ward. Corrupted ward is the most important thing. The other two perks, or one perk if you're using purple armor, it's just a bonus. So corrupted ward on my head, chest, gloves. I don't have it on my pants because I have fortifying perforate, which if you're using a spear, that is the most important perk you want to have. And then corrupted ward once again on my boots. And I'm at mid-max medium, which is 22.9. And it is very important you guys are using a mid-max medium or a mid-max light set. You can go either or. So for, I'll even show you off my Genesis set. So for Genesis, I'll throw it all on. And let me show you the difference, actually, on why you have to use mid-max. Uh, 10.0 is way under, because this is a full light set for Genesis. It's all in gear toward. This is stuff that drops out of mutation, which this gear is okay to use as well. Uh, especially for Genesis, because uh, most of your damage will be coming from your hatchet. And hatchet's majority of its damage is coming from its in-hand damage basic attacks. But... Let me show you the difference in armor. If you come down here, I'm at 568.4. So to go mid-max light, you would have to change out your chest piece for a medium chest piece. So let's throw that on. Boom. The 723. That's 160 more physical and elemental damage just going up to the 12.7 mid-max light set. So it is very important you're going mid-max. Uh, you still have to dodge with this setup, obviously. But this will make it your life a lot easier if everyone has this gear. Um, if you're not comfortable in light, it is, once again, it is okay to go medium. But you can go light for the extra 20% damage you get from it. So that is super nice. And the point of doing this is putting ward gear on everything. It means you can drop your con. So let's say I am going to do... This is not the correct setup for Genesis. But let's say I'm going into Genesis. Or let's say I'm going into a Tempest set. This, If I have full ward gear, this allows me to go way less con. Now, if you want to play it safe, you can go up to 60, eat some con food, and get to 100. But ultimately, with full ward gear, you can go as low as 50 con in medium and light armor. And this is just, really, it's just maximizing the amount of DPS you can do by taking stat points out of con and adding it into dex, strength, into whatever your DPS build is. Well, that's why you want to go full ward gear, lower con, but in a little bonus, my amulet has void protection and void damage absorption. This is a very sweaty setup <laughs> that I'm showing you guys. Um, so void protection amulet, I have it for void protection, obviously. There's also fire dungeons, so dynasty is fire right now. I have a scorpion stone for that I can throw on, which is health, flame protection, flame damage. In a perfect world, you would want to have Flame Protection, Flame Ward, and Health for the uh, the according mutation. But it's also okay not to. 
Um, this is just a super sweaty setup once again, so I'm not dying as DPS. And just putting out just massive fucking DPS. But yeah, uh, I think that's about it. If you guys have any questions, please ask them in the comments below. I am glad to answer any questions. I love helping people. If you guys want to see more content like this or see me go through a dungeon uh, using this gear, I'm glad to do that. Please let me know in the comments below. I appreciate the support. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you want. I also stream on Twitch. I'll have that in the bio. Uh, but that's it. You guys have a wonderful rest of your night. I'll talk to you tomorrow maybe if I make another video. Maybe I won't. I don't know. That's what you're getting with me. Good night and goodbye.